So now that we've been able to use our diagnostic tripod in the previous video to see where point normals are working, why don't we use that same tool to understand what the different behaviors of this truss are. So we have a bunch of different ways that this truss has been placed on this surface and some of them look nice and some of them maybe not so nice. So let's say that this one is how we want it. It's standing up nice and straight on this surface. Looks like it's obeying gravity, blah, blah, blah. Well, if we go in, and I'm just going to delete that, and I'm going to place in my diagnostic tripod with red standing up nice and straight. I'm going to place it on those same points. You know, we can see similar behavior where everything looks like it's standing up nice and straight. And so what's up with this guy? And why is he laying over to the side and not standing up nice and straight. Well, again, it makes more sense when you take the diagnostic tri tripod and start hosting it in here. And you start seeing, well, sure, each one of those points is pointing out perpendicular to that surface. And that may not be what you want for this particular truss, but that's why it's doing that. You can see that triangle is, in fact, pointing straight out relative to the surface that it's hosted on. In fact, if I go here and I make it a wireframe, I can go in and I can probably host these guys on those same points and we'll see that everything is still going to line up. So it may not be what you want, but it is behaving appropriately. So what about these guys that are starting to sort of fold over on themselves? Let me clean up this screen for a second. get rid of some of the visual noise. So now we've got these guys which are all folded over, folded in half. Well they're doing the same thing. So if I take my diagnostic tripod and I place it here, it doesn't matter where I place this thing on those points, all of my green lines that X or Y axis are all pointing off in the same direction. Well, unfortunately, for your truss, it's doing the same thing here. If I place it, you know, in the same direction as this guy, we're going to see that my triangles line up quite nicely. But here, the triangles are still orienting themselves in the same direction. And if I open this guy for edit, we can take a look at that. Here I've got my triangles are in fact based on, you know, I'll delete some geometry here. What I did, and this, you know, wouldn't be the way that you would want to create it, but I'm just going to show you a common mistake that I've seen. I've got a point with another point host on top of it, and then I've drawn a triangle on top of it, and this triangle is just going to twist and turn when it's placed in a project. And it's going to fold over like that. And then Lastly, we're going to look at this guy, which is really torqued out, right? You know, not only is it flattened, but this guy is pointing off in a whole different direction. Well, that's because I've got a bunch of different hosting conditions here. And again, I'm going to take my diagnostic tripod and I'm going to place it on here. So I've got one behavior when I'm on a point, And I have a very different behavior when I'm hosted on a line. The point is picking up on surface normals. And the lines are picking up on the lines normals. So the red line here is pointing along the line. The red line here is pointing out from the surface. So if this guy is standing up in this direction that he's hosted on a line, and this guy's hands sort of sticking out from the surface when he's hosting on a point, we can start to see why this guy is behaving differently in different places. Over here, my triangles are hosted on points. And over here, my triangle is hosted on a line. When it's hosted on the line, it stands up along that line. When it's hosted on the points, right here. Oh, actually, that's right. This one is hosted on lines all the way around. You can see if I host this tripod here, He's going to point in that direction, and here he's going to point in the other direction. There's a lot of stuff going on here, so let me delete and show you this again. So if I take my tripod, 
If I host on that line, I point in that direction. If I host it on this line, I point in a different one. And so that's what's going on with this guy. And let me get rid of these guys. This guy is hosted such that these triangles are hosted on these lines, and this guy is hosted on this line. So again, this isn't a solution, this is just an explanation of why your truss is behaving f in a funny way. And it will be a later discussion as to how you can create this thing to behave how you would want to. It's a whole other discussion. But I hope that this was helpful and can help you sort of interrogate and troubleshoot the components that you're making.